In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in Canva. It can be really useful to have a simple landing page to send people to when you are creating content or doing anything else where you want to send people to one location to either collect emails for a newsletter, sell a product, or do anything else like describe your business and give them more information. So landing pages can be very simple, but Canva is a great way to create a free one. To start, we're gonna go up to the search bar at the top of Canva and we're going to type in landing page page. So when we type in landing page, a few things come up. There's suggested templates down here. There's 20,000 of those. You can see them all, but there's a lot of different ones that are not specifically websites. So we're going to select the actual landing page website link that pops up. After you do this, you land on landing page templates, and this is all Canva design templates that look really great, they're easy to use, and there are both paid and free ones. So if you see the little pro with the crown on top of it, that means it is for Canva Pro users. I do pay for Canva Pro, it's pretty cheap for what I use it for every single month. But if you're a free user, you will also see plenty of options where there is no little symbol on it, and those are free ones. You can also go up and filter to find free options. So that is an option for you as well. So to get started, you're going to pick one that you want to use for your landing page. If you put your mouse over any design, it will flip through the different options you have for what it looks like. So you can see if it's multiple pages, what those pages look like. So that gives you just an idea of what it looks like. And then some are one page options for landing pages. There are a lot of different options. You you can also create a blank landing page website. You can filter by theme by clicking on theme and going to the drop down. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. There's landing page website, business, there's all sorts of options for you here. So you can kind of just filter through and see what you actually like. And then when you're ready, when you've selected one that you want to use, you can click on it and then a pop-up will come up that kind of shows you what it looks like closer. And then you will click the customize this template button. The great thing about Canva is if you change your mind, you can go over to design the first little icon in the left hand menu and then see templates here is the first choice. And then you can actually go through and change the template that you're using. If you decide you don't like this template, when you go over to design, then templates, you can find one that you like better. So maybe you like this one better. So you can just replace it very quickly. So if you're wanting something different, you can scroll through and figure out which one you like the best. So that way you're able to choose the one that works for you. And you'll have all of your recently used at the top. So you can switch back if you change your mind. So you can always go back and forth between them all. If you want to replace all pages with templates and I click replace all pages. So then you have all the pages ready to go. So one option if you are wanting to switch it is when you go up to search website templates, you can do a more specific search like a sales landing page. If you are trying to sell something, so you can look through these options and find one that works for you. So maybe you see this one and you think that would be great for the ebook that you're wanting to do. So you click on that and then you click replace current page. So this is our new design, but if you scroll down, you can see that all of the old design, the extra pages are still there because it doesn't automatically get deleted if you aren't replacing them. So you need to delete the old extra pages from the first design you had. To do that, you scroll down to the page, you can click on it. Then over here on the left side, you'll see all these icons. You go to the trash icon that says delete page, click on that, and it will just delete the pages. Delete them all, and then you are ready to go with your new design. So now you're going to edit all of the content to make sure that it matches your product design and needs for your landing page. So basically, whenever you want to change something, you click on it, you can double click, and then that will highlight the text and you can delete it and then add your text. So anything you're wanting to do, you can just add here. So I'm going to add one of my product names, and then I'm going to basically make that smaller so it fits. And then you can also change out the photo. So if you have an ebook that you're selling like this, and you just want to put in your ebook design, you can do 
that. Or if you don't like how this looks, you can just delete it all. And then you can delete everything on that side and add a photo. To add your own photo, you would go to uploads and then click on your photo that you want to add. Let's say you want to add a picture of yourself. I have that handy. So I'm just going to add a photo of myself that I use sometimes. So I can put that right there. Or if I don't like that, I can again click on the image and delete it. So maybe I do have an image to go with this. So I'm going to go over, find it, click on that in my uploads and put it in the design. So then you can drag and drop it where you want it to be. So it looks right for your design choices. And then you would just go about selecting all of the text and changing it to what matches your design, your brand, your name. Okay. So let's say that these are the links that you want to link out from your landing page so that they can go buy it on your website or Amazon or anything like that. So maybe you have your book for sale in a couple different places and you're sending people to this landing page and then they can buy it at these places. You would select the item that you want to link, then click the three dots that pop up and then go to link. And this will link to wherever you want it to link to. So let's say you want to link to your Amazon page on one of them. Then you can click the icon as well. And you can always link that too. So again, you go to the three dots, then you go up to link, and then you type in the link for your website maybe. So I'm going to type in the link to my website and we will enter done. And so now it links to my website. So this one is to Amazon. This one is to my website. This one could be to another one. Or if we don't need this many, we would delete those so you can click on it and delete it. So basically that's how you edit the landing page. It works the same way as any sort of Canva design. So the great thing about these landing pages is how simple it is to actually publish it. And that's what we're going to look at next. But before we publish, we want to preview our design. So we go up to the top menu where it says preview and has a little eye and then we click on that. So we can preview this and how it looks, how it functions in basically the desktop option. And then also the mobile option. So we want to make sure that it looks good in both options. So we like the design and how it works and looks. So as long as we're happy with both of those, then we're ready to publish the website. So you can click publish website here and it will just bring you back to your design in Canva. If you don't want to do it that way, you would just go up to the top menu where it says publish website and click that. It does the same thing. Here's where we select our website URL. So everything that we decide to publish on Canva, if we don't have a custom domain, Main is going to say dot my dot canva site. That's how it works, but we can just go ahead and create that. So everything we want to do will be with this website URL. So you can type in something that makes sense to your brand, to your landing page. So let's say we're going to type in our brand and that's going to be everything for our website URL. You can also click on use a custom domain and you have the option to bring your own domain, buy a new domain from Canva or again, Again, you can claim your free Canva domain and use that. I'm going to go ahead and make it create with Penny's book. So that is my example here. And then we are going to go to publish settings next. So click on that. And this is basically all of the information for your SEO on the site. So it's going to show what the browser tab shows. So we probably don't want it to have the name of the design, which is dark blue and orange, simple dark consultancy program portfolio. We don't really want that. So we're going to click on the little pencil icon and then delete all of this and add something that makes sense. So let's just type in our brand name and our product name. And for you, this could be anything that makes sense for your landing page. If you are doing a resume landing page, it would be your name and what kind of work you're doing. If you are trying to get email signups, it would be about your newsletter. This is just basically a descriptive title that people are going to see up here. So it makes sense. And you want the most important part at the beginning. So for me, I put my brand name first. So that way that's what they're going to see here. And then the website description is basically a description of your product or your landing page, whatever you have on your landing page, just do a really simple website description for Google showing your website and things like that. But you're probably not going to be having this show up in search much. So just put in a little bit of something. So there's an idea of what the website actually is and then move on. Don't worry too much about it. So advanced settings, when you go down here and click this, you can actually protect your website with a password. If you are sending people to something that is sensitive or if it's something that they are paying for, if they only get access to it when they pay for it, there is that option. 
option. And then you can also do search engine visibility. So if you have this checked, it is going to show your site in search engine results. You may or may not want this depending on what you're using your landing page for. So if you don't, you can turn it off, then that really won't matter, of course. But if you have it on, this is basically what will show in the description on search engine results. And then there is also the option to link preview, disable the link preview. So you can do that if you want to, or you can have it disabled. So down here, the last one, you choose your link preview setting. So you can disable it, which is what they have it set as to begin with, or you can turn on link preview. So it does show your link preview when it's shared on things like Twitter, Facebook, all sorts of social platforms. So if you want them to see what your landing page looks like, you can do that. It really is up to you. So the final step is to actually publish your website. So basically what you're going to do is click that final publish website button and then let Canva do their magic preparing your design. It can take a few minutes. It depends on how big it is. But once it's ready, it'll say your website is now live. There'll be confetti. You can either copy your link by clicking here and then pasting it or click the view website button. So this takes you to your landing page so you can kind of see what it looks like and see how it's going to function. Of course, down at the bottom, it does say designed with Canva if you scroll all the way down. But if you don't actually scroll, you won't see that. And then you'll have your design here as you edited it in Canva. And then you want to click on your links to make sure that they work. So if I click on this one, I see I had a typo. Oh no, we have to go back and fix that. And then if I click on this one, I can see that it actually goes to my website so that one works. So what we need to do is hop back over to Canva, click the X and then edit the design. So we can see here, if you need to edit, you have to actually click edit design. So it goes back to the editing page because it's a website. Every time you edit it, you have to republish it again. So here we're going to click on this and edit the link by clicking more, the three icons going up to edit link. And we see that, oops, we made a mistake. We're going to click on that box and type in amazon.com, then click done. So once we are done with that, it should update the link. We could go up to preview and do it that way. So actually that might be a little bit smarter. So we preview it, click the link, make sure it goes to Amazon. It does. Fantastic. So now we can publish our website again. So we go to publish website and then we republish website. So it goes through the same process. So if you make mistakes or you want to have changes, you just have to go through this process again. And I highly recommend every time you always go to view your website and check all the links, make sure everything looks right, make sure that everything is the way you want it. So those links work. This is all what we entered. This is perfect. So we are done. This is our landing page. We were able to do it pretty quickly. If you need different landing pages for different products, for different brands, for different projects, for just a website for yourself to promote yourself or your services, this is a really quick, easy way to do it. You will have the option to have a free domain or you can use your own domain if you want it to look a more, little bit more professional, but it's a very easy way to do a landing page in Canva. I hope this was helpful. I have more videos on my channel, Create With Pennies, so just search for me on YouTube or watch this next video that I'm linking here.